Right, good morning. Today, I'm going to show you how to find the area of these purple shaded regions. So we have three circles, all identical, got the same radius. And these two outer circles just touch on the middle. They don't overlap, but they just touch. So there is no continuous area. There is a slight little dot in the center breaking them up. So what we need to do, we'll start off by labeling some things. And we're actually going to draw a little hexagon. So if we, first of all, we'll go across and then we'll draw the hexagon. So this is going to be like a diameter. I'll just move this up so we can try and get it in the middle as much as we can. And now if we draw a hexagon going around here, going from the edge of the purple regions to the edge of the diameter I've drawn, what we'll see, all of these lines should be the same length. So they're all a radius, and we'll go along and draw these down the middle here too to make a little X. So like a hexagon, and also kind of like six triangles at the same time. Each one of these lines then has the same length, the radius. We won't go and label them all, but they should all have the same radius. And I know this one doesn't quite overlap, but that's okay. So the purple region then, we can think of as this sector. Take away these two smaller regions. So we need to work out what those smaller regions are, and also what the sector is. Well, as it's a hexagon, we can think that each of these angles is going to be 60 degrees. So if we call the radius R, we can go along and say that the area of the sector is equal to 1 sixth of pi r squared. Lovely jubbly. Now then for the segments, so these little bits up here, we need to be able to work out the area of this triangle. We know that each side is going to have a radius of r, or a length of r, sorry, and an angle of 60 degrees. So if we just go down and split this one in half, we can work out what the height here is, this line I've just drawn, h. And in this case, h is going to be where we have this right angle triangle. Hypotenuse is r. The opposite side is h. So we need to use that h is equal to r sine 60, which gives us root 3 on 2 multiplied by the radius. So the area of each of these is going to be equal to that height times by the, the base divided by 2. So the base was r, and we divide by 2. So we're going to have root 3 r squared over 4. So that is the area of the triangle. To work out the area of each segment then, we want to do the area of the sector, take away the area of the triangle. So area of segment is equal to the pi on 6 r squared minus the root 3 r squared on 4. So if we make these both over 12, how many and take the r squared out the front, we'll have r squared on 12 multiplied by 2 pi, subtract 3 root 3. So that's the area of the segment. Now let's go and think about the area of the purple bit with respect to these segments, like how, what bits do we need to add together to get the purple bit. So we can see that we've got the entire sector, so what I do is I call these the purple bits p, to p is going to be equal to the sector minus two of the segments. So substituting all of that in, the sector is one sixth pi r squared. The segments then, we've got this r squared on 12, so we'll times that by two to get r squared on six. Multiplied by the same bracket, two pi minus three root three. So let's expand this all out. We'll factorize the r squared on 6 at the front. So we've got a pi minus 2 pi, so that's minus pi. And also, if we factorize the 6 from the r and the r squared out, then we've just got plus 3 root 3. So that is for each of the p's, but we have two p's. So we times that by 2. And the area of the purple is equal to r squared on 3, multiplied by 3, root 3, minus pi. Lovely jubbly.